If you've ever perused the comment section of Fire Emblem videos or explored the Fire Emblem subreddit, you've probably come across several comments like this one. <laughs> uh, how did that get there? Whoops, that's not the right one. There we go. Kaga games. What are Kaga games? Who the heck is Shozo Kaga? And why is there such a cult behind this person in the Fire Emblem community? What does it mean that Kaga did it first? And why are Kaga games considered by some to be the best? Today on Lucky Crit, let's take a deep dive into the very origins of the Fire Emblem series and learn all about its father, the forgotten and now exiled Shozo Kaga. This video is sponsored by Bai, but more on that later. Born long before the time of the internet and seemingly a very private and reclusive character, much of Shozo Kaga's life remains a mystery. Aside from his accomplishments and involvement with Fire Emblem, we know next to nothing about him. There are also only a small handful of known images of Kaga available online. Here he is alongside Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of the Final Fantasy series, in an interview about Fire Emblem vs. Final Fantasy in the Famicom Sushin magazine in 1994. What little we do know, though, is that Kaga was born in Japan in 1950. He entered the game industry in 1986 at the age of 36 and participated in a video game coding contest run by Enterbrain's Login magazine. For his entry, Kaga created a role-playing game with hidden romance elements called Cosmic Fighter, which went on to place third in the contest. A role-playing game with hidden romance. When considering the older Fire Emblem titles, that sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? It seems that Kaga already knew exactly what he wanted to be creating. Over the years, Enterbrain, who ran the contest, went on to develop a number of various software programs to allow a more casual audience to experience and enjoy the creation of video games. This included programs like the RPG Maker series, which I've personally sunk an enormous amount of hours into, making and playing games across the gamut of various programs and versions that they released. They're lovely programs, but that's a story for another time. They also made Fighter Maker, Sim RPG Maker, Shooter Maker, an IG maker. Kaga's connection with Enterbrain and these types of software, it seemed, was only just beginning. Continuing on in the world of game development, sometime around the late 80s and certainly by 1990, Shozo Kaga went on to be employed by Intelligent Systems, a Japanese video game developer and hardware support team that had a close partnership with Nintendo. Intelligent Systems was founded by programmer and hardware developer Toru Narahiro, and came to life when he was hired by Nintendo to help port games for the Famicom Disk System over to standard cartridges in other regions. The company later expanded to provide programming, debugging, and auxiliary support for games written by other Nintendo divisions. While the initial works and projects of Intelligent Systems mostly comprised of minor contributions to other larger projects, Toru Naruhiro did go on to develop and program his first two games, these being Famicom Wars and Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light, both for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Famicom Wars later went on to spawn the Wars series of games, which included the very popular Advance Wars. You can learn more about the Wars games by checking out my What Happened to Advance Wars video. This seemingly small-time hardware developer had, in its very first outings, just programmed the earliest beginnings of some of the most beloved tactical RPG series of all time. And it was thanks to Kaga that they happened. Surely God's greatest gifts to humanity before abandoning us. Originally, Naruhiro relied on Nintendo to help provide the graphics and music for these titles, but after their favorable reception, Intelligent Systems went on to hire its own designers, composers, and programmers so that they could produce their own games entirely. Kaga, an employee during this time, ended up working on Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light from its inception. He served as the lead scenario writer, establishing the setting, story, and presentation of the game. Considering his efforts with Cosmic Fighter and bringing many of those elements to Fire Emblem, we can safely say that Fire Emblem, as we know it, exists thanks to him. And the similarities with the Wars series also exist because Kaga was a lead developer on that game too. Before we continue though, it's time to thank the sponsor of this video, Bai. Have you ever come across an awesome product on a Japanese website that you weren't actually able to buy because it only shipped in Japan? and you don't have a Japanese friend or an uncle at Intelligent Systems to ship it to, well, Bai is the fix for this problem. Bai allows you to buy anything from Japan and have it shipped anywhere worldwide. Bai buys the products for you, preps them for international shipping, and gets them to your mailbox. With Bai, you have access to a ton of brands and products through many of the biggest Japanese online retailers, like Amazon Japan, Mercari, Rakuten, and more. 
And Baiyi is offering viewers of the channel a 2,000 yen or $20 off first time purchase coupon for those of you that use my link in the description below. So be sure to check out their website and see what goodies you can find. Thanks again to Baiyi for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to it. On April 20th, 1990, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light was released in Japan. Shozo Kaga and his small team of developers made the game come to life with their passion and dedication. Unfortunately, the game released to subpar sales and not much attention. However, those that did play the game received it well and contributed to highly positive word of mouth around it, and this led to increased sales, which eventually justified the release of further titles in the Fire Emblem series. It's because of these OG fans and their spreading the word about the game that you and I are even here on this video talking about Fire Emblem right now. It's interesting to think about. With this minor success, Shozo Kaga continued on as the lead scenario writer, also becoming the director on every game from Fire Emblem Gaiden onward, making him the paramount creator, often regarded as the father of the Fire Emblem series. Or daddy, if that's what you prefer. Kaga went on to work on the first five games in the Fire Emblem series, as well as Fire Emblem Arcanea Saga, or BS Fire Emblem, for the Super Famicom. When writing for the Yudral games specifically, Kaga aimed to write realistic stories reflecting on the unpleasant nature of medieval times. Drawing upon his fascination with political history, he focused on how the course of history could be changed by the smallest acts or mistakes. Though Kaga continued to develop the core gameplay and add new features and mechanics in subsequent games, his core philosophy always remained the same. A departure from the typical RPG norms, like random level ups, permanent character death, and a wide array of stats and weapon ranks for the player to navigate created unique and unlikely scenarios for the player to solve with the tools at their disposal. Whereas in typical games, units and level ups meant a permanent sense of progression, Kaga falsified these norms by making progress easily lost with the wrong strategy and focus. He enjoyed the idea that players would create their own unique stories when playing, and didn't want players to get caught up with trying to achieve a perfect ending. Uh, you didn't see that. In August 1999, shortly before the release of the fifth Fire Emblem title, Thracia 776, in September, Kaga decided to depart from Intelligent Systems and found his own studio, named Tirnanog. Though not much is explicitly known about his decision to leave Intelligent Systems, there are a number of potential rumors that I was able to gather. It's possible that Kaga was unhappy with how the development of Fire Emblem 64 was going, and perhaps he disliked the idea of the Fire Emblem series entering the 3D space, or maybe features of Nintendo's 3D hardware in general, and disagreed with his superiors over the direction that the Fire Emblem series should take. While the Fire Emblem 64 project initially aimed to bring Fire Emblem to the Nintendo 64 console, it later became what we now know as Fire Emblem Binding Blade, and instead released on the Game Boy Advance. But during Kaga's time at Intelligent Systems, of course, this wasn't the original plan. Though it's mostly conjecture, it's possible that Kaga felt Fire Emblem was a 2D series and should remain that way. This could explain why Thracia had been developed and released as an SNES title so late into the console's lifespan, nine years, in fact, after its initial release even though the Nintendo 64 had already since launched in 1996. Being so late in the console's lifespan hurt the sales of Thracia, giving it the distinction of being the worst-selling Fire Emblem game in the Japanese market, having sold only 106,108 units as of 2002. It's also plausible that behind-the-scenes drama related to Thracia contributed to his departure. However, in contrast to this, there are also some rumors that Kaga had felt that they'd reached the limit of what the SNES platform could do, which could have set the stage for Fire Emblem to become a 3D title or explore new ground on the Nintendo 64, had Kaga not disliked the idea. But Kaga or not, Nintendo moved forward with the concept and began developing Fire Emblem on the Nintendo 64 regardless. Further rumors indicate that there may have also been an issue between Shozo Kaga and fellow Intelligent Systems developer Osamu Yamauchi that could have also contributed. Another popular theory, as presented by GameFAQs user Endgame, is that Gunpei Yokoi, who had worked on Genealogy of the Holy War, was screwed over by Nintendo with the rushed release of the Virtual Boy. Because of this, it flopped, and Yokoi was then discharged from Nintendo, though due to Japanese work culture, it's likely that he was shamed into publicly resigning. Kaga was upset over how Yokoi had been treated, and then also left, apparently quite bitterly. 
Then later, with the drama of Kaga's own Emblem Saga creation and the fallout thereafter, it seems possible that this created the perfect storm for both entities to sever ties permanently. This is also perhaps why Kaga's name is no longer being used or mentioned in any capacity. It's also worth noting that Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War and Thracia 776 appear more heavily influenced by Kaga in terms of lore than the original Arcanean and Valentian continents of the first three games. Kaga's interest in politics and darker themes like incest were more prevalent, and his ownership of the difference in tone may also be why these games have historically been given much less attention in the West and in other mediums of the series. Kaga's final contribution to a game for a Nintendo platform was with a game called Trade Battle Card Hero that went on to be published the following February. Now setting off on his own, and as the president of his own studio, Tirnanog, his first project was to create a strategy game for the PlayStation in which he titled Emblem Saga.